Welcome to this week's Technology Thursday. I'm Precision Ag Manager Jeff Buick, coming to you this week from Truman, Minnesota. And this year, spraying season seems a little bit more like swimming season, but there's still lots of technology to be driven from sprayers, and in our company, we have specialists that can help us do just that. Yeah, you bet, Jeff. Uh, my name's Nate Jansen. I'm a product application specialist working on our nutrient application equipment. And today we're standing in front of an R4045 sprayer that's packed with technology options from Exact Apply, Apply Mobile, Starfire Guidance, and a lot of other options. So, Jeff, let's hop up into the cab and see what this girl has in store. Sounds good. Welcome into the cab of the R4045. Up here, we're going to look at the iPad, which is running Connect Mobile Apply for sprayers. Now this iPad app is compatible with any 4 series sprayers back to model year 2014. Where this iPad really works nice is it gives us another screen to monitor performance of the sprayer in real time and also review our field after we're done. Let's take a closer look. On Connect Mobile on the right hand side we're able to view real time maps, actual rate, rate deviation, ground speed, and pressure in real time as we move across the field. It's also nice that we can monitor additional parts of the machine like droplet size, target rate, flow rate, remaining tank volume, and some other stats as well. Alright, next we're going to talk about the exact apply nozzle system. As you can see behind me, each of these nozzles is pulsing, which allows us to keep a constant pressure inside of our boom allows us to control our droplet size. So you think about a day like today where the wind is picking up a little bit, we can lower our pressure, maintain our gallons per acre, and affect the droplet size we have coming out of each nozzle. Another nice thing about Exact Apply is we go around corners, we're able to compensate for the rate from the left side to the right side of the boom, which allows for a more even pattern as we go around curves. A lot of nice features with this system. With section control, we come into areas of previous coverage, We've got individual nozzle shut off. Even on this 120 foot boom, we've got 96 individual sections that shut off, saving 2 to 5 percent of chemical savings. Okay. Uh, also on this R4045 sprayer with exact apply, you'll notice we call these things nozzle turrets, which allows multiple nozzles to be used. We've got two nozzles that we can use at one given time, which allows us to change which nozzle we're using based on our flow rate. So we'll use the front nozzle as we increase our speed and go to the back nozzle. And then ultimately, if we get up to a really high rate, high speed, we can use both nozzles at the same time. A lot of compatibility options with these nozzles. Right now I'm running 08 size tips at 20 pounds, which allows them to act like a, a really large droplet, but also get down to a very small uh, gallon breaker rate. It's a very flexible system. It's an incredible one. you got to see it in the field. Okay, Nate, tell me a little bit about the light that's included in the turret and uh, spraying at night, or what happens if a nozzle plugs on me? You bet. In the bottom of this nozzle turret, there's an LED light. When a section is on, that light is on. So as we come into areas of previous coverage and a nozzle shuts off, that nozzle light is going to shut off also. Now if the nozzle has an electrical issue or detects a plug, that light's going to pulse. So if I come to the back of the sprayer when it's spraying right now, I can look underneath and check to see which light is pulsing. I know right which one to go to to check the wire or check underneath on the nozzles. One thing you want to stay away from on your fields is a little thing called tire blight. Yep. When the phone rings or you look down at the screen and we're not auto tracking, you get on a side hill, let's say, or the planter didn't track right behind the tractor, you get a little tire blight. We want to keep these tires off the row. In fact, at 18 miles an hour, you'll run over 108 corn plants in one second. One way to keep from doing that is a product called Auto Track Vision Row Sense. We put this camera right on top of the post in front of your tire. It looks forward at the uh, corn rows or the soybean rows, anywhere from 20 inch, 22s, 30s. It's going to look down that row and keep the sprayer right in line with the field. Now if it comes into a grassy area, it's going to rely back on your GPS receiver up on the cab. And as soon as it detects the rows, it's going to take over. Once you reach crop canopy, we then can put feelers down in between our tires, similar to what you see in a universal solution on corn heads and that'll guide the sprayer down the road. So if you take a look at um, going through the field on your first post-emerge spray application, 
or whether you're wide dropping later on in the season, Auto Track Vision Rosense is going to keep that sprayer from creating tire blight. Well, that wraps it up for this Technology Thursday. Like, share, and follow us for more ways to save money and be more efficient. I'm Precision Ag Manager Jeff Buick. And I'm Product Application Specialist Nate Jansen from CNB, committed to being your dealer of choice.